It'll be James Madison and Duke. Duke, seven and a half, the total 148. Yeah, Duke, we called it, right, Tony, in the last game against Vermont that uh, maybe they would stuff Vermont uh, in that game. They held them to 47 points. So, uh, look, JMU's right now. They've got that you know long, long winning streak right now. They're still just a top 60 team or so in the metric sites. Uh, here. Uh, Foster's out. He's done. Uh, he's not going to be able to come back. He's missed uh, five or six games for uh, the Blue Devils. But, uh, man, Jam, you've got to be riding high off that Wisconsin win. I know that, uh, look, they got nice Edwards, uh, uh, Bickerstaff, uh, good players. I'm going to, I'm going with Duke, Tony. They're nine and three against the spread. Their last 12, 18 and 12 against the spread as a favorite. And I'll just kind of tie in a little bit of that. Uh, you know, I don't know how you want to measure the game, right? I was talking about closely rated games. We're going to underdogs and uh, some of the bigger blowouts. To me, you know, you want to call seven and a half, maybe a closer game. But on the metrics, it looks like Duke is uh, far and above still Madison, even with those just three straight up losses. I'm going to lay the points with Duke here uh, on Sunday, Tony. All right, Ramon Scott here. Find his best bets over at TonySpitz.com. James Madison, Duke, the pick here will be on Duke, laying the seven and a half. All right, let's continue here on our, our rundown here uh, from College Basketball. We're going to get you a three-pack.